Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you the integration between vCenter Login Site and vCenter Operations Manager. First of all, this is my environment. I have one vCenter server. It's hosting one physical ESX host and it's hosting uh, a few nested ESX hosts. And in this environment I've implemented uh, vCenter operations and the new beta of vCenter login site and uh, I've configured all the ESX servers with syslog and also uh, my physical host and vCenter operations manager is active uh, on a separate disk so I can give it enough IOPS I've transferred the disks to, uh, to this one it's nearly full and there are some issues with this disk I'm getting some messages about pathing problems so what I did is that I created a special alert in login site and I'm trying to pass the alert to vCenter operations manager and within vCenter operations manager I'm trying to kick back to the vCenter uh, login site application so let's take a look at the vCenter login site. This is the dashboard. You will see an overview of all the ESX servers and all the anomalies, all the problems that exist in this environment. You can easily select one of the servers and then uh, filter on text containing several issues. So you can easily walk through all the events that are coming from vCenter, the normal vCenter alerts, and also the syslog messages from the individual ESX host. What I did is that when you jump to the manage alert option right here is that I created uh, I enabled this uh, alert and this alert is a problem with path and there is a path and it's the same path that I'm using for the disk that is hosting uh, vCenter operation manager and it says check storage condition I'm bi binding it to the resource esx.antipro.nl but you can bind it to any resource you want within vCenter operations. So there is a connection between vCenter operations and login site. And uh, I'm binding it to esx.antipro.local. I'm putting in the criticality critical on every match. So this is the alert I've created. Before you can create such an alert, you have to bind uh, login site to the vCenter operation system so there is a special option right here Visa VMware integration and here you can put in the host name of your vCenter server in the administrator user and password and you can put in the host name of the vCenter operation manager and the username and password you can also enable launching context and that's very important I'm going to show you later on but this enables you to start an uh, to start uh, to, to select a link within vCenter operations manager and jump back to vCenter login site. So first of all, uh, let's go back to the dashboard. So you can you can use anything you want for the for the alert. So there's no particular reason why not to uh, put in uh, alerts. Um, and when you go here, you can add an alert. So if I'm create, I'm doing something like error, and I want to add this alert, and I want to bind it to uh, vCenter operations. I'm going to select, I'm going to select a host, and I just click save, and then you have created an alert. So I already did it with the alert I created right here, problem path. And it's happening a few times, so you can see the events that happened over time. So let's go back to uh, vCenter Operations. vCenter Operations is uh, showing the vCops custom dashboard. And the real cool thing about this version, this is the most recent, recent version, is that there is also a special vSphere desktop with VM performance, where you can see all the virtual machines by ready time, by latency, by commands per second. And um, there's a, a real cool report with 
uh, troubleshooting. It's a bit the old, the, the normal user interface, but when you select something right here, you can see that the workload on this data source is very high. You can see host utilization. Uh, and then you see all the ESX hosts with the utilization, but there is actually, there's one cool one here, it's the alerts. And uh, you can e even create an RSS feed for the alerts. You also see this icon, and this icon is uh, allowing you to open external applications, but it only can be done in context. So if I'm selecting this error, and there's nothing to see, but you have to select an object. So if I'm selecting this virtual machine, I can go to the VSphere client. When I'm jumping to the VSphere client, I will be logged on to the VSphere client and the exact virtual machine will be shown. So that's the integration of vCenter operations with uh, the web client and with vCenter login sites. So you see that I'm going to the summary of the UI VM of vCenter operations, but that's not what I wanted to show you. When you're going here to alerts overview, you will see all the alerts that exist in this uh, in this in this environment, and um, there is an alert for the esx.antipro.local host system. And when I'm opening this alert, you will see that this alert is generated because there is a notification on esx.antipro.local and the log inside found two messages matching the alert problem path. Hey, that's interesting. This one is triggered by the alert I created in log inside. So this is the code I was referring to, problem with path. So when I'm going here, I can go to my log inside server and then the exact, the exact event will be uh, will be shown that is related to the alert that was created in vCenter operations. So this is a way to easily track down a problem that is coming in through to 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 uh, to syslog because it's a local six message. The syslog messages are resulting in uh, an alert to vCenter operations. And vCenter operations is showing the alert right here, and I can jump back to uh, the notification in log inside, but also to the vSphere client. That's also a possibility, and then you can inspect the virtual machine. So those are the options that are available. This is the integration between vCenter operations, vCenter log inside, and uh, the web client. So when I'm going here. Um, I can expect, I can see all the symptoms, maybe there was, uh, the workload was too high or there was something else problematic in my uh, environment. So that was a short demo of the integration, Eric Sloof is signing off, I hope you liked it, bye bye.